Feedback helps you be the best leader you can be. It's like pieces of a puzzle. The more feedback you get, positive and constructive, the clearer the picture is and the clearer the picture you get of you as a leader. But most of us have been in feedback conversations, haven't we, in the past where they've been far from helpful. And unfortunately, we bring those experiences forward into today's conversations, like a backpack full of heavy rocks dragging you down. Today, I'm gonna run you through five tactics on receiving feedback like a leader. Hi and welcome, my name is Jo, and this video is for professional women like you that wanna reconnect with your confidence and energy and gain clarity to step back in charge of your leadership and life. Feedback is critical to our leadership, no matter how experienced we are, and all of us can learn and grow when we are open to it. And let's face it, it's much more interesting and fun to be a learn-it-all than a know-it-all, right? If you really wanna benefit from the gift of feedback, these five tactics will help you take feedback gracefully as a leader. Number one tactic on receiving feedback like a leader, always be open to feedback. Now there's something about receiving feedback from another adult that can make you feel a bit like you're back in year nine being called to the principal's office, right? Particularly if that feedback is not delivered with great skill. And let's face it, just because you have the title of a leader doesn't automatically mean that you're good at giving feedback. It's a skill every leader can work on and improve. When we receive feedback, our brain sometimes gets hijacked by our stress responses, sometimes becoming defensive and unable to even hear what's being said, even if you're smiling through gritted teeth. But when we're able to open ourselves up to feedback, we'll always take something away. Maybe a tip on how to improve a presentation or a tweak on your approach and dealing with stress in front of your team, or even on how not to give feedback. Tactic two on receiving feedback like a leader. Shut up. Yes, that's right, tactic two, shut up. When you ask for feedback or are in a position to receive it, so often when somebody gives us feedback, people want to explain why they did a thing a particular way. And this generally comes out like justifying or defending. When you do this, it sends a really strong message to the person giving the feedback that you're actually more interested in holding on to your previous position or behavior than you are in making the changes that have become apparent from the feedback. It demonstrates that you're more interested on hearing what you have to say than what the person saying the feedback has to say. Ouch, right? Shutting up and listening will send a more powerful message that you are open to feedback and it'll help you be able to listen openly and to really hear what's being said and not said. And when the person's finished giving the feedback, you can move on to my next tactic. Tactic number three on receiving feedback like a leader. Always be curious and ask questions to ensure you're clear on what the feedback means. When I started my business 11 years ago, I delivered training in a corporate organization in the evening. The HR manager sat in on the first presentation. And after I was finished, as we were heading to the lift, I asked him for some feedback. Could you please give me some feedback about the presentation tonight? You know, was it in line with what you were wanting? Any improvements you can suggest? Now, as he got to the lift, he turned and with a very thoughtful look, he said, hmm, the workshop was very loud. The doors closed and he was gone. Now for the next week till I was there again, I went back and forth about this piece of feedback. Now the workshop was loud. Now what should I do? Should I do this or should I do that? How can I interpret this information? What can I do differently? Now the next week I arrived early and I asked him, can I have a moment of your time? I wanna ask you a bit about the feedback from the workshop last week. You mentioned it was loud. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Now he went on to explain that what I didn't know is that they wanted me to run some other workshops within their business, but they wanted them to do them through the day, not at evening like I'd been doing, and that it wouldn't be possible for us to do the same loud activities and moving around different rooms or even yelling out answers to questions that we did during the evening trainings. So he would want me to think about that when we were planning the daytime trainings. Well, yes, of course. Now, this was such a great lesson for me on two fronts. Always allow time when asking for feedback and don't do it as the doors are closing on a lift and always be curious and ask questions about what the feedback means, particularly but not only when the feedback is quite general. Otherwise, you may be acting on feedback that's not actually what the person meant at all. When you're receiving feedback, remember to always be quiet whilst they're speaking and listen, as I mentioned in tactic two. And if you need some more ideas on what questions you can ask to clarify the message 
even more? Why don't you give these ones a go? Can you tell me what that means to you? Talk to me about why you see this is important for me in my role. Can you give me a specific example of when I did this? Can you tell me more? I'm really curious to understand more about it. Develop a curious mindset and ask questions from a place of seeking opportunities and growth. And let's leave the defensiveness at the door, shall we? Tactic number four on receiving feedback like a leader. Always ask for suggestions on how to improve and implement. This will help you clarify what success looks like in their eyes and to help you know how to move forward strategically rather than guessing and making up what you think they're expecting or suggesting. When you ask for suggestions on how to improve and implement new strategies, you're actually seeking, possibly, ideas from somebody that may have already worked through this issue themselves or maybe somebody that is more experienced than you. So maybe give these questions a go. Where do you recommend I get started with this? What are a couple of things that you'd recommend that I do to address this feedback? What can you suggest I do first to improve on this? How would you know if I'd acted on this feedback? What would you see? Tactic number five on receiving feedback like a leader. Always say thank you and be grateful for feedback. Take every opportunity you can to be open to feedback and always thank the person for the feedback that they've given you, even if initially you're not sure whether it's going to be helpful or not. If a person's given you feedback, then there's a reason that they've chosen to take the time, energy and effort to have that conversation with you. Thanking them will send a message of gratitude that you're open to strengthening your leadership. And let's be honest, it's good manners. I also think about how my behavior is a bit of a mirror. If I'm open to the feedback I receive from others, then I know that others are going to be more open to receive feedback from me. You reap what you sow, right? Now I've got a bonus tactic for you here today, just for the women out there. You need to listen to this. This is one that I often talk to my clients about. So many women have a habit of brushing off or ignoring positive feedback. Stop that. As female leaders, we need to learn to take positive feedback gracefully to own our wins and to accept professional compliments and acknowledgements. A client of mine that I've been working with for a little while to help her in a new role, she got a job in an amazing company. I'm so proud of her. And in the interview, the interviewers gave her a couple of compliments about really big things that she'd had achieved in her previous role. And during the interview, she brushed off these comments by saying, oh, look, that wasn't me. It was all my team or it wasn't really a big deal. And although she did get the job, she also received feedback post-interview with the HR manager, which was amazing actually. The HR manager told her that one of the male interviewers actually put that as a mark against her name during the interview process. When he mentioned this to the HR manager while discussing the applicants, she explained this is actually really common with female leaders and she saw it as something with this applicant that they could definitely address and work through. Now in this case, it did not go against my client, but you will not always have an HR manager like that in your course to explain it for you. I just think it's so well worth mentioning to you all. Learn to take compliments and acknowledgements and at a minimum, genuinely say, thank you for taking the time to mention that. Or, I really appreciate that, thank you. Or, yeah, I worked really hard on that project. My team and I are really proud of everything we achieved. See, simple and appreciates the speaker and the part that you played without playing small, disqualifying the feedback, or even putting down your contribution. I trust that you've taken away a lot from these five tactics, plus the bonus on receiving feedback like a leader today. Let me know in the comments below where you're going to get started with this. Now, if you've made it this far in my video, you will love my online community where I dig deeper into the challenges facing professional women to help you strengthen your self-confidence, realign your energy, and find clarity to make better decisions at work, accelerate your leadership and step back in charge of your work and life. Join my online community in the link below and start getting your free powerful resources now. Now I want you to go over and watch my next video where I talk about the topic, what leaders need to know about feedback, where I share with you three facts that are going to free you up from the discomfort and the heaviness of feedback so you can stand sturdy in your feedback conversations. It'll really add another layer of what you've learned today. So I'll see you over there.